one of Tree Canada's slogans is that trees do their part, let's do ours. I'd like to thank all our supporters, past and present, for having done their part. For those watching this video, if you've not engaged with Tree Canada yet, I encourage you to do so, so that we can plant many more millions of trees over the next 20 years. Tree Canada has planted over 78 million trees. And we've greened 450 schoolyards. Tree Canada has fostered innovation. They've helped bring the issue of trees to the forefront and they've been a strong voice in the national dialogue on urban forestry. Uh, for example, we were included in the last national forest strategy that was tabled in, I think, 2008. Uh, we were included in the vision for Canada's forests that was created and tabled by the Canada, uh, Canadian Council of Forest Ministers and uh, we were responsible for the first carbon protocol in Canada and finally we were instrumental in the creation of National Tree Day which uh, the very first one was held last year. Jusqu'à maintenant, je peux comptabiliser avoir avoir planté 52 000 arbres. En 2011, les Nations Unies ont décrété l'année internationale des forêts. Ici au Canada, nous avons pris le flambeau et la Chambre des communes à mon initiative a décrété la Journée nationale de l'arbre. Et c'est quelque chose que, non seulement il est important que moi, comme individu, je le prenne au sérieux, mais que chaque Canadien le prenne au sérieux. TALUS has a partnership with Tree Canada that includes National Tree Day. So we have events that take place across the country on National Tree Day, and certainly um, we have an opportunity to see our dollars at work through those events. Everybody's health depends on good, vibrant, forests and trees and we've helped do that with Tree Canada and Home Hardware. We've planted over 17,000 trees and these are big trees. I mean these are not little saplings that we're planting. We have sponsors who've been with us for 20 years and who have made really major contributions, some of them in the millions of dollars. I take deep pride and satisfaction from the fact that Tree Canada is no longer dependent on government funding. A foundation is the right model. A non-profit, one that's transparent, one that's auditable, and one that is, has as its mandate to, to educate and engage communities in the public. So what we try to do is put a program together for our sponsors to match how they want to, to spend their money when they're working with Tree Canada. TELUS has helped Tree Canada plant more than 340,000 trees over the last decade. We try to recognize these organizations as, in as many ways as we possibly can, one of them through the Turn Award, but through a number of other programs as well. Working with organizations like Tree Canada enables TD to engage our employees and the communities we serve in innovative forest stewardship programs like Tree Days or Green Streets. It's Tree Canada's expertise and their personnel in the field that really enable us to work with communities nationwide. Since 1998, Shell Canada and Tree Canada together have caused over a million trees to be planted. While most have been planted in Alberta, both Tree Canada and Shell Canada being national organizations, they've also been efforts to plant trees in other notable Canadian locations, such as the Plains of Abraham in Quebec City, along the Toronto Lakefront as part of that city's revitalization efforts, and here in Stanley Park to help offset the damages of a major windstorm of a few years ago. Mais de différentes façons, Arbre Canada aide les villes à déployer des efforts en forêt urbaine. Premièrement, en trouvant des fonds, puis en mettant des fonds à la disponibilité, à la disposition des villes via le programme Ma rue mes arbres, qui finance une partie des projets de forêt urbaine, euh, via le programme de verdissement des cours d'école aussi, ou bon, c'est un peu comme Ma rue mes arbres où Arbre Canada trouve de l'argent pour payer des projets, mais là, ça s'adresse aux écoles. Donc, les ça prend un enseignant leader dans une école pour monter un projet de plantation. We're great volunteers at Home Hardware, but we're not tree experts. Tree Canada has a number of advisors right across Canada, the ones that get the trees to be planted on the specific site. Whole streets are being eliminated because of beetles. That wouldn't happen today because you would say, let's put in a maple and an oak and a beech and different trees. How do you plant that tree? And more importantly, how do you maintain that tree? Bref, Arm Canada essaye d'exercer un leadership à l'échelle nationale parce que malheureusement, il n'y en a pas dans les gouvernements, ni, ni fédéral, très peu provinciaux. Peut-être en Ontario, il y a un petit quelque chose, mais dans les autres provinces canadiennes, il n'y a pas encore de, de leadership institutionnel en matière de forêt urbaine au Canada. Through programs like TD Green Streets and TD Tree Days, Tree Canada and TD have added more than 100,000 trees to communities across Canada. 
They have done so much work in, in education and awareness to uh, organizations and, um, and to educational institutions also. It started with the Canada Green Plan in 1991-92. So uh, there's a program that was called Greening Canada, which was developed by Canadian Forestry Service at the time. And that was included in the Green Plan and later on that became a Tree Canada. I played a small part in that, of course, an immense source of satisfaction for me. And politicians began to realize their constituents so were saying, we should have some big tree program. And the corporate people who were sitting over here are saying, we'll support you. And let's do this. Je suis très, très fier de ce que Arbre Canada a fait, où il est rendu aujourd'hui, parce que c'est rendu un, un incontournable dans le domaine de la foresterie urbaine. It's this overall ecosystem that we call the urban forest, whether it's street trees uh, or trees in backyards, ravine lands, uh, woodlands, and so on. When we started, if you went into a community and said, you live in an urban forest, the first thing they would say is, what's an urban forest? The term urban forestry, I like to think of as being the, the stewardship of those forests, just the same as, in my mind at least, Forestry isn't just logging, it's the stewardship of natural forests. In the early days, we had to do convincing of the, of the need for trees. Now, not so much. People, obviously, they get it. So that's, that's a success. The flagship program for the Tree Canada is Green School Grounds. The teachers became into the program. We had a teacher's program. And so kids became very, very much involved and they love their trees. It's going to be a great legacy for those children as they grow up. They're going to remember, I planted that tree. I see as look at the forest in a much different way. This tree is a real machine. It's really doing work. It's really making things better for people to breathe. C'est que c'est devenu un allié contre la pollution, contre les, euh, les poussières, contre le, le, euh, toutes les choses qui nous amènent les, les gaz à effet de serre. Donc euh, la forêt urbaine est vraiment notre allié proche de nous. The word heat island used to be, what's a heat island? Now people go, look at that heat island over there at such and such. We got to plant trees and get people to put trees and reduce the heat coming out. Les arbres peuvent même réduire la température de 15 degrés dans un environnement urbain. C'est très important. C'est plus important de planter des arbres en ville qu'à la campagne. They, they are producing oxygen. They are sequestering CO2 and, and carbon dioxide and other pollutants. They're holding the soil down. They're keeping water pure and clear. Uh, they provide shelter and they provide shade and they provide reduction of energy costs. It's good for your health. You're stressed out at work, go and sit under a tree. It starts with sensitizing people to the role of trees and how important they are, doing effective inventories, planting for sure, but along with planting comes maintenance. We also encourage education. I'd like to think that we've helped a lot of communities realize the benefits of having actually a department of urban forestry in their community. The urban forester is, uh, has a, an equal place at the table with uh, the planners and the engineers and, and the other professionals. They can't be seen as an add-on. That again is something that's changed over the last few decades. And we've helped a lot of towns and cities with that as well. La foresterie urbaine, c'est la culture et la gestion des arbres en milieu urbain pour les bénéfices qu'ils procurent aux citoyens. La majorité des efforts sont mis sur les arbres qui appartiennent à la ville, donc les arbres de rue, mais idéalement, on aimerait aussi avoir des options de gestion sur les arbres privés, parce que les arbres privés forment ou sont une partie importante de la forêt urbaine, d'une canopée d'une ville. Donc, leurs bénéfices, les bénéfices profitent à tous, mais appartiennent à, aux propriétaires, donc c'est... We have to remember that trees are a very important part of our infrastructure. We also have to remember that the vast majority of the urban forest is on private property. The urban forest is a community good, a, a public good, and so we regulate for its health and protection. Because our goal is to grow our tree canopy from 29% to 40%. That's a, a plan that was uh, developed for us by our own urban forestry staff and the U of T's forestry department. Uh, en adoptant des, des nouvelles lois, on peut forcer les citoyens à faire ci ou à faire ça avec, avec leurs arbres. Puis, comme par exemple, à Montréal, tous les arrondissements exigent de leurs citoyens qu'ils obtiennent un permis d'abattage, même pour les arbres qui, les, qui leur appartiennent, qui appartiennent les lits, même pour les arbres privés. People were upset at the great number of trees that were being lost, and, uh, and they demanded that we do something about it. 
We've banned billboards and we've passed a law that makes it very hard for you to cut down a tree. The best way that Arm Canada exerts a leadership at the scale of the country in matter of forestry urban is by organizing, one or two years, a conference Canadian on forestry urban. I think one of the major roles that Tree Canada has played is to bring that uh, together to build the, the communication uh, not only between municipalities but between disciplines through many of its programs, whether that be the Canadian Urban Forest Conferences, uh, uh, programs like Green Streets Canada, uh, um, Greening School Grounds and uh, Disaster Relief. Which is where we go in and we plant trees where there are disasters in cities like Kelowna or Halifax after the ice storms, for example. We get countless letters um, from communities thanking TELUS for our participation and involvement with Tree Canada. It all indicates to me a, a major shift in attitude. The next 20 years will be very interesting. 90% of Canadians are going to be living in cities and towns. And densification is a necessity but so is protecting trees during densification. There is a window of opportunity that uh, governments, both provincial and federal, uh, better be aware of for their own good to make Canada truly the fourth nation that capable of being a model for the rest of the world. We're really just scratching the surface here in Canada and recognizing that a healthy environment is absolutely essential to a healthy economy. I joined Tree Canada because I hope to help them plant another 78 million trees. Happy anniversary, Tree Canada. Joyeux anniversaire, Arm Canada. Happy 20th birthday. Congratulations, Tree Canada. Thank you, trees, and thank you, forests. Happy birthday, Tree Canada, and thank you, Frank Overly, for helping to get us started. Thank you for the shade throughout 400 communities that you've been, that you've been active at. Thank you.